that's still recording. So long as that's still recording, I'm totally fine. Close out Camtasia for now. No. Start uploading some of that Undertale. Boom. Ominous. Go down here, Undertale. Custom thumbnail. Set them up. Thumbnails. That one. Was this Matt's comment on my video? I think it was. Yeah. Alright, hello everybody. My name is Moonmonk and welcome back to Shovel Knight. In the last episode, we got through the first part of this, but sadly, we died to fall damage, actually. Well, I guess not necessarily fall damage, just falling down and being stupid. It was over there. You can, uh, well, it was in the previous episode, and if you're watching this after I've already uploaded most of them, then you, uh, you saw it. Uh, probably can marathon it, honestly. So, those guys in the future, uh, hi, how you doing? How's, uh, <clears throat> how's whatever year it is when you're watching this? Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. I was thinking about this the other day, and it's interesting to think about the fact that someday I might actually be at a pretty decent amount of subscribers, and people would be watching these in, like, 20, you know, 17 and watching it just to get a feel of like how I used to be and and you know what honestly I'll probably be watching it too um just to kind of because I, I I like going back to where I came from you know I, I like seeing where I started and where I'm where I'm headed you know I I've, I <clears throat> I've watched a couple of my like really old videos like the Pokemon Fire Red series that I had going on for a while and it's like, I have improved so much, like, my ability to talk and comprehend thought and all that good stuff has significantly improved in the time since I uploaded that video and, and recorded that video to now, and that's amazing, because that's, I mean, yeah, it's a couple of years progress, but to think that at that point I was probably sitting at, you know, I, I was sitting in Arizona wanting to be at the point that I'm at right now like you know I, I remember talking to my dad and I was like you know if I even get to 50 subs or 100 subscribers I'll be happy and here I am so if I if I I would definitely tell myself to continue on with the channel if I could go back and uh, and just make sure that I keep up on everything and and so, I would hit this, but it's a bomb. <laughs> Which I guess you could use to kill those guys down there, but it's going to be completely irrelevant in a second. Um, I, I would definitely go back and tell myself, like, hey, you know, it, it's turned out pretty good so far. You've made a lot of really cool friends, and... It's Chester! In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? So, fun fact, he didn't actually find that in the chest, but we'll find out about that after the Shovel Knight series has ended. Oop. And use that again. Get right through these guys, not have to fight. Which is awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, like, it, it's just really cool. If I could, if I could go back and kind of talk to myself and encourage him, encourage myself to, to do more and just stay determined and keep on keeping on and all those other 
you know, stereotypes and normal things that you say to keep someone inspired, I most certainly would. Just because it would have helped me out so much to know that, you know, I've hit the point that I have back then. You know, it, it's... I, I am... I said it in the update video, but I'm so appreciative of the subscribers that I have and that I've gotten. I think I've gone over the 10 minute mark. But you know what? Fuck it. This will be a long episode. We're almost to the end, so... I am more than willing to uh, do this, and then if we die on Spectre Knight, we will uh, we will cut this video and then take him on in the next video. But we won't die because I'm awesome. Ooh. So would you stay on the thing? so that you guys can both die. A little bit of a secret here, some uh, Moon Monk pro tips. You can jump up there. Bet you didn't know that. Found that out because of uh, my, uh, my DS gameplay. I'm not bothering with those guys. There's no fucking way in hell I'm willing to deal with those guys. I can go over here and get these, but I don't know how badly I want to. Oh shit, I fucked up. I'm back down. I'll go back up, and boom jams. Not much gold, but it's worth it. Ooh baby, I'm worth it. I don't know why I have that song in specific stuck in my head, or why that song came up. I, I've never listened to that song. I've heard it on, uh, like, chocolate commercials, and that's about it. But other than that, I have no prior knowledge of that song. So I'm just going to camp out here until this guy does his third jump, and whoop. Nope. Come on. Aw, oh, gee, Kind of sucks he's invulnerable when he's, uh, when he's down, but I, I understand why. As I said, nothing but love for this game. I absolutely adore it. Look at all this gold. I love gold. Is there a thing here? Or is that just in Plague Knights? I played so much Plague Knight. I have not played Shovel Knight in what feels like ages. Um, just because I, I kind of wanted to save the, the Shovel Knight playthrough for, you know this because it's it's just it's a good you know I, I I'm trying to formulate my thoughts I uh, like I've beat Plague Knight a couple of times and yes I most certainly want to uh, play it for you guys and I will be I will definitely be doing Plague of Shadows but like because of how much I love that campaign I know for a fact I won't get tired of it, but with Shield Knight, because of the fact that I, I, you know, as I said earlier, I definitely prefer uh, Plague Knight to Shield Knight, um, it makes it, damn it, wars, it makes it hard for me to enjoy Shovel Knight when I, when I have a fondness for a character as much as I do for Plague Knight, just because I, I I'm sit I, I sit there the entire time and I'm like, I'd, I'd rather be playing Plague Knight. But I have an incentive to beat Shovel Knight on the computer so that I can see how Plague Knight uh, plays on Compooper. Because I've never actually played it. Oh, and a sh real quick shout out to Wilkiador, who has been on the channel a couple of times, um, for letting me borrow his game on Steam. Uh, I own it for myself on the DS, but I don't own it for the computer because, you know, I, I was borrowing it from Wilkiador and then I was just like, okay, well, I if I'm borrowing it from him, I don't have to buy it on the computer because I can just, you know, hack into his account, leet hacks, even though they're not actually all that leet, he gave me his password. 
Um, bloop. Bloop. I'm getting out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. Um, he, he did give me, like, his account stuff so that I could play it. But I figured, you know, if... If I'm going to be able to play it on the computer whenever I want, I don't want to spend the 14 bucks to play it on it. And this is definitely a game that I want to play on the go, because it's such a good game, and I want to play it all the freaking time. <laughs> and I have. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved Shield Knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> the Enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life, so that I may take yours. Alright, let's kick this guy's ass quick, because I am certainly over the mark of, you know. Come on, really? Alright, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What's she gonna do? Hey, ho, what's she gonna do? Hey, ho, what's she gonna do? Hey, ho, sorry. Okay, I'm done with that for now. Get wrecked! <laughs> so, it's kinda interesting. Uh, this stage is a bit different in Plague Knights. Um, which I guess makes sense, but. Oh god, I miscalculated that. I miscalculated that terribly. And then. Bloop. Get back over here. Duck. You don't duck much. But you do duck a little bit. Whoop. And then fucking chop his shit off. And then wait for him to come back. This boss is very, uh, a very slow-ish boss. Okay, so he's gonna come over here. He's gonna teleport to over here. Once he throws his scythe of doom. Which I can just mash his shit. Come back here, you whore. Oh, yeah, yeah, summon some... I'm not on Plague Knight anymore, bitch. I can deal with that shit. <laughs> it is ridiculously hard to deal with these zombies on, uh... Or with this battle sometimes when you're on, uh... Plague Knight. Just come back up here. Wait for him to come back. And wreck his shit. This battle might be going a little bit faster than I, uh, initially expected. Ow. Dick. Yeah, yeah, you turn it dark. See what happens. I'm gonna kick your ass. First and foremost. First things first. I'm the realist. And... Ah, oh, almost, almost, almost. Let me get that final hit. Let me get that final hit. Come on. Come on, baby. Throw your scythe. Throw your scythe aside. Throw it so I can hit you. Not over there. Ow. That was... That was a calculated mistake. And done. Cool. Okay. Wow. This was a long episode. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to make it as long as I did. I might cut some parts out. Uh, like getting back to the death points. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, check out the annotations for more videos that I've done. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to be taking on King Knight. Maybe buying some upgrades. Because that's just how life works when you're, when you're a Shovel Knight. I'll show you guys this and then I will uh, cut out. So that we can uh, carry on to the next ventures. And I can edit these episodes, upload them, and then go to bed. Probably not going to go to bed immediately. I don't go to bed often. Okay, so when it does this screen, there's no, uh, no catcher scene. But when it does the other screen, there is. We're up. We're gonna... Alright, so, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and, uh, cool outro music. Bye! Bye.